Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Nunderson, also known as, you know, what he's known as. But here we are. I'm excited for this episode. We're going to fight a new boss. But off camera, I was fighting the Moon Lord a couple times. And peep this. The hell is this? National Ugandan treasure. Can I throw it on the floor? I think my, like, toss stuff out of my inventory button is fucked up. It's consumable and it's a material. What is it a material for? That's what I'm interested in. Oh, Memer's Repost. Memer's 500% damage back to enemy. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, whatever, let's consume it. Let's see what happens when we consume it. I mean, I could have I could have done that myself. I could have killed myself, but whatever. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. Okay, so after that, you know, get all this Illuminite popping off. What? Should we? Yeah, we're going to change our armor. We're going to change our armor. I want to do that every episode. Um, just to have variety in the armor. So we're going to change our armor. Actually, hold up. Let's get the Luminite out. What armor can we change to? Oops. What armor can we change to? We did. We did this one. We did the Spirit Mod one. Now the Stellar. Which I don't know if we'll do. And then there's White Dwarf. I think we're going to do White Dwarf. Just because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the White Dwarf set. And then next we'll do the Sacred Tool. Actually, maybe we should do the Sacred Tools one. Because we're going to be finding the Sacred Tools boss. That makes sense. That makes sense. Let me get the Luminite. What do we need for it? I think it's just straight out Luminite. I think it is. This set right here. Quasar. Alright, let's go for it. Let's go for it if we can. Let me actually create more Luminite. Just as much as I can. And then we'll do Quasar. Boom. Helmet on deck. Boots on deck. We'll leave the wings. Because I don't know if they're better than my current wings. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. Who knows. But uh, let's look. Damage. One th oh my god. Look how much damage these two do. <laughs> we'll do this one. 488. And then our defense is 111. Defense went up about, was that, six? And this went up a lot, too. What's the set bonus? All right, I'll go through all of them. You guys can pause and read the regular stuff. And then I'm going to look at the set bonus. Throwing damage creates surges of energy around you. Energy surges attempt to home into enemies. They attempt to. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, seems like a pretty good armor set. Uh, but like I said, I do want to try all the other armor sets, but this is probably going to be the one we come back to. Now, we're going to be fighting Abaddon. I don't remember what the spawn item is for him. Oh, no, we didn't find that. Abaddon. Uh, Nightmare Catcher. Nightmare Catcher. So, we should be able to make that pretty easily. I'll try and make two. Yep. All right. Boom, bada, bing. We are ready to go. We are ready to go. Now, I know everyone's like, gamers, new calamity update. Uh, update and do all the new stuff. We're going to save all that stuff for the fisherman playthrough. And also, I don't know if it's natural generation, the Calamity stuff, or if it's, uh, do you spawn it in yourself? If it is natural generation, obviously we can't do it in our world right now, but there's probably a way to spawn it in yourself. Because Calamity, they think about stuff like that. Uh, they don't, never mind, I'm not going to diss the mod. New update, man. New update, new, new life, possibly. So, we need to fight Abaddon at night. That's really all. It's just at night. And we can either slaughter Abaddon or have it possibly kill us. I think the latter is the way to go, but whatever. I don't give a shit. <laughs> the Emissary Nightmare is Abaddon. Alright, I don't know why I said abandon. You know what? We'll use his weapon against them. I don't even see the boss. We're gonna use your weapon against you, okay? He summons in the little dudes. Hey, do they drop stuff though? It'd be a good way to farm. What am I killing right now? What am I fighting? There's so much shit everywhere. I think we just kill all the ghosts and then he comes back. Okay. That seems like... Yep, there he is. How you doing? He's pretty loud. I hope you guys can hear me. Alright, we're taking out the big boy now. Taking out the big boy now. God damn, that went <laughs> super fast. Kill the little dudes. Kill the little dudes. We're life stealing so much back, which is honestly required most of the time to be overpowered. I expect to be overpowered because this is one of the most overpowered characters we've had. 
next to young David. No, he's old. Old David. I don't remember him, right? The mage? I feel like it's weird if you're watching this series and haven't seen the other, like, seasons. Or watching a series and haven't seen the, like, first couple of, uh, series. Other parts of this series. Like, the other characters. The game just froze. What was that? Could you guys hear me that whole time? I didn't say it. All I said was the game froze. And it did freeze. There we go. I'm kind of scared to fight him again. When's if he crashes my game? What's going on? Why am I still being attacked by things? The boss fight's over. Alright. We got his mask. It looks pretty cool. Got the trophy. Alright. Let's do it again. This time we're going for insta-kill. This time we're going for insta-kill. You know, we had the fight there. Nice normal fight. Now we go for insta-kill. Hold up. I, I kind of want to make it rain. I kind of want to make it rain a little bit. Maybe throw a little bit of ripple knife in there. Get a bunch of debuffs popping off. I feel like this does a bunch of debuffing, but you never know. I feel like this is a weapon that I'll pull out in the middle of a boss fight just to like do that dot damage or whatever it does. Debuff, dot damage, whatever. Yeah, just stand right there. Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier. Damn it. it was nice and easy until he had it vanished from existence. I like this boss though. I like how it's different. At least it feels different. Maybe it's like a upgraded lunatic cultist. It's got some. It's got some. Uh, what is it? It's got some flashes of lunatic cultists in it. Flashes? I don't know if that's a good word, but you can see some some similarities, some inspiration. I don't know with the boss. I'm just saying things that I think are right. That's how. That's how it is. We got more lunar coins. You know, we gotta wait for the lunarians, lunarians, lunarians. <laughs> Got his mask again. This time we got his mask outside of the treasure bag. Very odd. Okay. And we got Deadly Forge Fury. Shout out my boy Fury Forge. Greatest builder in Terraria. Okay, I don't know if that's factual, but in my opinion. Greatest U Terraria YouTube builder. You know who's a good ass builder? Yuri Mir. Low key. Low key. But let's see here. We got the Soul of Midnight. Another Forge Fury. We're going to sell the better one. And his trophy. Just place his trophy there for now. So, the mask looks really cool. I like this armor set, man. Sacred Tools so far has been pretty damn good when it comes to impressing me. So, shout out my boy Dan. Uh, Soul of Midnight. Let's see here. That's the creator of Sacred Tools. I'm not just saying Dan randomly. Death's Breathst. <laughs> Bre I meant breath, not breast. Celestial shield. There's a lot of stuff we can craft here. Increase damage just in general. How do we get this? Oblivion bar. Draconium? No. I know where we get that from. Dyronite. Okay, what is the bar we're looking for? For this death's brew. Oblivion bar. Oblivion. Boom. We get that from Oblivion shards. Which I'm assuming drop from I'm gonna I'm look it up uh, game writers obviously it spawns underground after killing Abaddon the obliv the uh, emissary of the oblivion is that isn't is that what it's I don't know <laughs> so it's underground why do I have this sword I, for some reason I thought I was gonna keep it you about to get fury forged hope you enjoy that one is he dead hello Let's uh, toss all this stuff. We don't really need it. Oh, actually, maybe hold on to those. This, the mask looks pretty cool. Should I wear the mask? We're going to wear the mask for this episode. All right. Boom. Toss that in there. Damn it. I put the sword. Whatever. It's fine. It is all good. All right. So let's head. We'll do it like this. Even though I could have just took the teleporter. I, whatever. We're going to go down. And we're going to try and find some of this ore. I didn't look up specifically where it spawns. It just said underground. Is that it? Nope. Oh, we should. This should be easy because we got the the little the little thing to tell us. Furniture, food, fun. It's purple. I think it's black or purple. It's one of those. Oh, there it is. We found it. It's all good. Hopefully, we got a good enough pickaxe. No, we did not. I honestly expected that because I think I've been meaning to make a new pickaxe for a while now. Oh, we can use this now. Oh, look at that. Okay. Hello. What's going on here? Can you stop killing my... God damn it. I gotta make it daytime all the time. So, let's make a new pickaxe. 
Solar. Okay, maybe not solar. What's... Whatever. Just... I don't care. <laughs> just make a new pickaxe, man. Alright, um... This one. We can get rid of it. And then what we're gonna do... We're gonna get a glyph. Okay? Peep this out. Glyph. And then with the glyph... We're gonna talk to Monique. What's up, Monique? And we're gonna... We're gonna do this. Boom. Efficiency glyph activated. So now the pickaxe is fast. Jesus, that's like really fast. Okay, back down we go. Back down we go. So this week, let me see here. I should upload this. It's Monday, I think. I should upload this Tuesday, the 20th, I think, 20th or 19th. And I'm going to Disneyland for like pretty much a whole entire week five days that's pretty much a whole entire week Dude, like if you don't think about it too hard like uh, hold on isn't there five days not five days isn't there seven days in a week you're thinking too hard so don't think too hard but i'm gonna try and get some scheduled uploads out during that time uh so that means during this current week there might not be a lot of uploads we'll see what i can do we'll s i'll see what i can whip up in the kitchen you know some pancakes y'all feeling some pancakes oh you more of a waffle person i can whip up some waffles i don't got a waffle maker though so i don't know how How do you make waffles without a waffle maker i'm about to google search that how did people do it before in the past without a waffle maker i don't want to touch any of these other ores i'll be honest they smell <laughs> oh my god my pop filter smells like straight spit is this a new ore no it's just perennial ore Hold up. Did they change what perennial ore looks like again? God damn it, Calamity. I'm trying I'm trying to rekindle my love. I really think Calamity is going to hook me back in. I think it's going to go back up to my top three spot. Because of the new stuff they added. Past all the re-sprites and the nerfs and the buffs. And the changing of AI and bosses. Primarily bosses. I think, I think they're going to hook me back in. And then I go to top three spot. Uh, the the new biome stuff looks insane. Like I just looked at a couple of pictures and stuff. I haven't watched any videos about it. I just looked at like pictures on the wiki. Just a little quick glance. Nothing to spoil. Nothing I won't be amazed when I actually see everything in person. Or uh, live. But uh, that's going to be dope. Can't wait for that. And I'm not going to really spoil anything else. So don't worry, it's coming. Like I said, Fisherman playthrough is coming. I know there's a couple new bosses. Uh, I know the Desert Scourge. Skirt, no, Scourge. I know he got changed. He looks different. There's like a there's like a hydrated version and a dry version. Interesting. But yeah, we'll wait until the Fisherman playthrough. I know that might be a while from now. But it'll all be worth it. It'll all be worth it. Why am I repeating myself? Especially that new challenge series that I have coming out. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. Yeah, we got big things coming. We're just waiting for it, man. We're just waiting for it. Cause the things that I got coming, I got them I'm gonna be putting a lot of hours and a lot of work into them. So I'm just waiting until I'm partnered. And boom, we'll be we'll be ready to go again. We'll be nice and ready. You know, I think like honestly the last guideline strike i have i don't think that's gonna go away like the review process is taking longer than like longer than it should like just say that it, it didn't go through in the review process like don't make me wait for like a month plus like it's almost gonna be two months like it's gonna be over the guideline strike is gonna be over by the time it probably gets reviewed like it's gonna be like three months after the guideline strike is over and I'm already able to do everything. And YouTube's going to be like, oh yeah, we reviewed your uh, guideline strike. Uh, you were in the wrong. That's what they're going to say. I'm going to be like, it's already over. Who the fuck cares about your opinion now? <laughs> I'm getting shot through the wall. I don't enjoy this. And it's not like baby damage either. Where are you at? Where is this enemy at? We got to get out of here. We're going to die. What am I doing? That's the wrong thing. That wasn't a magic mirror. Okay. Boom. We done did it. We got 98 obsidian. Don't know how this is over there. We can make our bars now, but we need the forge. No problem. So oblivion. That's the that's key word right there. Oblivion. Boom. Fuck. Boom. There's the forge. Go ahead and replace that. 
Now we can make the bars. Is this walls too? Ooh, bricks. Nice. There's 17 bars. So I'll give you 17 bars. I'll spit some bars right quick. Okay, hold up. So let's make, I just want to make the death breath and then we'll look into everything else later. Well, actually, let's just look at it now. There's dusk fall and death's breaths. Fuck, I need more. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get more. All right, we can make the death's breath finally. Powerful. Ooh, the speed is slow. I guess it's pretty much an upgrade to our corrosive flask. Mm, it's like barely an upgrade. I bet we can get a better reforge on it. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. Boom, my boy Stazen. How you doing? How you doing? You going to cough up some nice? That's not bad. I think it does less damage than the other thing we had. Yeah, that's more damage. Okay. Can I talk? It's very fast. It's very fast. Okay, hold up. Hard mode. Wait, no, we're in post moon lord now. We can fight post post moon lord shit. So, Juice asked me to fight the enraged version of Cactuar. So we're gonna do that real quick to end off the episode. Actually, we're gonna do a gnome camp too. Might as well. So let's run it. Wait, spawn him here and then we bring him over here. Come over here. He doesn't change colors when he's enraged. Hey, don't kill my NPCs, bro. It's bad. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> All right, so we're going to place a gnome camp to end off this episode. We'll peep this down here if you guys didn't catch the stream. The last remaining house area, housing area, is going to be down here. It's going to be a mine shaft where the dirtiest of dirtiest, the dirtiest of dirty NPCs will be. Because you know we got the prison right here, and then we got the higher up. These are my boys up here. These are the technicians, the lab people, because they're the ones who are working everything. These down here, prisoners scumbags these down here i don't have any comments for people that are gonna live down there they're gonna be living in the mine chef he looks dirty rupert you're going in the mine chef all right let's let's go over here because i don't think i have any in the desert so we're gonna put a gnome camp in the desert it's our nice little uh, arena right here let's uh let's do this let's open up a whole spot in the corner you don't really need an arena for cactuar anymore i don't think so we're just gonna place one just like right here. It's nice, just chilling right here. Hold up, kill him. Just because he smells bad, I can smell his stench from far away. Um, let's do right here. Break that. Put him here. But let's make that a little bit nice. Ooh, that's a nice game leaders. Thanks. And then can we place the other one right here? Can you move Leonard? We cannot place him. Now we can place him. Boom. There we go. Another gnome camp set up. Beautiful gnome camps. But yeah, we're going to end the episode off here. We killed Abaddon. New boss explored that. We talked about life and how great it can be. Shout out my boy. Uh, uh, um, 